Will you watch me do my play now? No, because you're going to be late. Get yourself ready for school first. Go on. Don't even talk to her. I think she's the only one left who still likes her. Nothing's changed since last night. I want you out. No problem. I'll be at work all day. And I'll be on for my tea. Yeah, unless we change the locks. I'll have to kick the door down then, won't I? Yeah, and we'll have to ring the police. We'll see. You ready, sweetheart? Me and her, don't mess with it. Oi! Happy now, are you? I was until I saw you. What have you been telling, Debbie? The truth gets in the way, doesn't it? Those two are all I've got left. You'd even try and kill that off, wouldn't no, you? No, you managed all that by yourself, you loser. And I was keeping your secret so as not to upset her. I thought Amy had had an abortion. And now you've got a little boy lying in hospital that you don't give a toss about. Well done. All oh, right, and you've never made one you, single well mistake, yes, have I've you? Yes, I've made loads! And I can tell you which one is the biggest. I told you to keep that shut. And I did, didn't I? And then you went off your head, didn't you? Did you honestly think that you could destroy nearly every family in this village without some of that coming back on Debbie? Well, did you? Can't stay down there. Just doing my dinner and he's even on the same street. Oh, should you get him out? No, Grandad, haven't we had enough of it? Aye. Ah. <sighs> Maybe we're all as bad, love. Had a right go at Iabel last night. She knew what was happening to her, Amy. And they're frightened to say now, in case it got her in more bother than she were already in. Turns out your dad was even threatening her. One way or another, he's got to everybody. It's like he's got a list. Who haven't he had to go out show for? I honestly thought it was better than this. Us wondering about that doesn't help the baby. No, whether we like it or not. What we're talking about here is... your little brother. My grandson. Right. I best have a word with the father then. Oh, Zach, no. I don't want you getting thumped again. Oh, I'll be ready for him this time. Grandad, no, what have I just said? <sighs> Look, we're just at the house. Come straight over. Wouldn't it be nice, instead of you worrying about your family and me worrying about mine, that we could actually spend some time thinking about each other? What's happened? Oh, well, Priya was supposed to be coming here on her own, and now she's got my mum and dad piled oh, in with her as well. No, why are they coming here? Well, that's what I said. Stop where you are, and I'll sort it out. My dad, or no? Oh, well, I suppose it could be worse. Oh, yeah? Well, God knows how Debbie's coping being under the same roof as her own dad. Well, he'll have got her on side, won't he? You said yourself what he's like. Oh, Debbie, they're all picking on me. No, that's not going to work anymore. It worked on Priya. Well, not when she finds out about a boyfriend's baby and its teenage mother. You're right. No, not really. I've had enough. But Dad! How is all of you being here gonna help? Maybe we'll get something done instead of keep talking about it. You're not planning on stopping? Oh, we'll go home once we know we don't have to keep the lights on all night. Where do you think you're going? What's got to do with you? Priya! Priya, your father's talking to you. What do you need me here for? So we can try and talk some sense into your thick head. Who do you think you're talking to? Well, you being with Kane hasn't exactly helped matters, has it? No, it hasn't. And in between your little trips off to your swanky hotels in Yorkshire, do you want to know what he's been doing? Recovering, I hope. Oh, Priya. Oh, nice. He's been having it away on the side. Oh, no, maybe you're his bit on the side. I take it you haven't heard about him and Moira Barton. <laughs> yeah, right. As if. Cos she's more his age, isn't she? Unlike Amy. You what? Sorry, baby, doesn't draw the line at kids. Foster kids in this case. Now the mother of Kane's child. I hope you've been careful, young lady. I don't believe you. No? This is Amy, 17, by the way, who was so scared of what he might do to her that she hid being pregnant in the first place. But then I'm probably making all that up, aren't I? Like I did the break-in, the cat, having me dragged off for assault.
Put that down, eh? You're really beginning to bore me now. Not like I need this, eh? We can't get in to see the baby. Not my decision. He's your son. I'll just have to live with that, won't I? And you wonder why people hate you so much. I come from a bad home. I'll say it again. He's your son. And I'm yours. And on the strength of that, me and him, we got a lot to look forward to. Some folk try and learn from the mistakes. Exactly. Like I said, I'm yours. He's mine. I won't be making any more. Just phone the hospital. No. I don't get it. If you've no interest in caring for this child, why are you so different with Debbie? Because she's charities. Get away before you get more of what you got last time. <clears throat> not blaming you. No, well, that's not what it sounded like to me. I've dumped him. It's not my fault. He's a psycho. And where were you? Fighting up upsetting your mummy? All right. You want it like that, do you? You're telling me that this isn't all about you? If you weren't here, if we hadn't told everyone we were getting married, none of this would be happening. We've been through this. What am I supposed to do? Go somewhere? Well, where? I can't have you without getting him. Right, are you saying that we should split up then? What, you mean as opposed to living as we are now? Yeah. I think I am. So that's it then? He's won? Do you think I want to lose you? What choice have I got? It sounds to me like you've already made it. It doesn't matter who lives where. It's what we've got between us that's killing him. Well, there you go, you just said it. It's killing him. But what if he actually kills someone? I'm scared, Charity. This is not somewhere I ever thought I'd be. And you know what? I'm scared because I'm sane. Because I'm not like him. I'm not gonna let him do this to us. <laughs> well, you say that and we're right back where we started. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll go and get my stuff now then, shall I? Oi, come here. No, you don't have to go now. Please, just get off me. Priya's gone. Excuse me. Change them locks, yeah? Oh, don't worry, we'll get there. Wondered how long it'd be before you started showing your face again? Oh, you missed me. No, I'm just amazed that you've managed to make yourself even more unpopular than you already are. Whoa, calm down. You're a liar. She only just found that out. Pack it in. Look, not in here. Come on. Come Why on. not? Don't you want Moira finding out? She's not here. I'm not having this. Yo, at least she's old enough. Not like the other one who's just dumped your kid in a phone box. How many more are there? Shut it, right? Right, not a good idea, this, love. I'm sure you two can sort out whatever problems you've got somewhere else later on. I believed you. All that stuff with Mum and Dad. I thought it was Jane making it up. You. That's just sick. I care about what you think. You're even more boring now than you were in bed. Oh. You're like some right slappers in here, aren't you? Ken! Priya! Priya! Get him! Get lost! Priya! Oi! Ken! I'm talking to you! I'm shouting like everyone else, then. Oh, don't come the matter with me. Whatever's coming back at you now, you have bought on yourself. Do you think I wanted this kid? It's not about what you want. It's about how you handle it. This baby. Charity and Jay, Debbie and Sarah. No, I'm not having that. I am not having everyone hiding behind Debbie and Sarah every time they want to put one over on me. Can you think about nothing but yourself? Who else will if I don't, eh? Go on. What have I got? Excuse me! Rishi! Excuse me! Rishi, no! What are you doing? That case, man! Everybody wants some. Fine by me. 
Leave my daughter alone. Maybe it's her, can't leave me alone, Grandad, look at it that way. Rishi, come away, you'll only make him worse. Listen to your wife, pal, before you get him way too deep. You think I couldn't have you stopped? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, but if you're referring to these weird accidents you've been having, let's just hope they don't start getting worse. Wouldn't want that, would we, sweetheart? Rishi, listen to what he's saying. We should have stayed at home. Not like I'd know where that is, eh? All oh, right, well, I'll say you found her then. How about you all go home now so it doesn't happen again? And you're going to see to that, are you? Kane threatened us again. What, you've just seen him? Mm. And I'll be seeing him again. See, you're at it again. Right, everyone just shut up, OK? Will you please calm down? Where's she going? Oh, shut up, you gobby little hey, cow. Hey, enough! The pair of you! Don't worry, I'm going. What are you doing, booking me a cab? Doing what I should have done a good while back. Oh, of course, yes, calling the police. You know, I may as well have them on speed dial. They could pull him in for whatever. Harassment. How about ruining my life? Yeah. Hello? Yeah, Charity. Look, babe, you're busy. Can you hold on a sec? You see to your family, and I'll see to mine, all right? What the hell are you doing? Same as you. Well, that cat poisoning nut job is still wandering the streets. I've decided I'm stopping right here. You can't just come barging in. Well, I just have, Uncle Zack. And don't panic. It's not like there's a big coach load behind me, is there? What's wrong with where you've been? Me and Jay have split up, Lise. You mean he's chucked you out? Sam! No, he has not chucked me out, all right? I... I don't know. Call it what you want. Mutual consent. Oh, sit down, love. Shift up. Mm? Can't you see she's upset? Hey. You know, he seems to think the entire family's now going to get blown up, house and all. Mind you, with the way Kane's behaving, he's probably right, isn't he? So how long's this going to be for, then? Oh, thanks for making me feel so welcome, Uncle Zack. What's known as the foreseeable future? Or at least until that walking disaster area known as Kane gets shoved under a bus! Oh, God, what am I going to tell Noah? So the wedding's definitely off, then? Change much, has it? Try not to make a racket. Don't want it all kicking off again. Thought I could smell something. I mean, you're not scared. Nice to know some things don't change. That's just it, though. Everything is different. You just can't see it, can you? Saw you coming away from Jay's. And you'll be pleased to know we've binned it. The wedding, living together, the lot. Finished. So congratulations, successfully screwed my life up once again. Me? Nah. Never gonna last you and him. Could see it a mile off. You'd end up bored out your tree. You'd be well happy though, yeah? What up? There's a thought. What is that supposed to mean? You are aware Jay's phoned the police. Well, he's wasting the time. Is he? You deserve everything they can chuck at you in a damn sight more after what you've done to Amy. I should never have let it get that far. Oh, right, for you or her? Both. And what do you want? Sympathy? Depends what else you've got. For you, nothing. What? How did we get to this? What are you doing? No! <laughs> Have you any idea how much I hate you? Shame. Because the more I... The more I think about it, the more I realise how much I love you. Oh, my God, Kane. I know. 
a bit late for that, now, isn't it? See ya.